Hi. In this slide, as you see, we're going to see some wires. Okay. So this is over here. The first wire is a normal wire, as you see here. Okay. This is a normal wire. Okay. Here we have unconnected wires. When you find two wires like this, okay, two wires like this means unconnected wires. Of course, you will find these wires in circuit diagram and device schematic. Okay, this is unconnected wire because here we don't have any sign here. But for this, this is a connected wire. Why? Because we have in the middle of this two line a circle. This circle means there is a connection, okay, between this wire and this. But for this, no. Okay? So this is unconnected wire and this is connected wire. Okay? Here this is the symbol of a test point. We have here a small circle in the end of this line means this is a test point okay for this this is the same logic or same principle as this as you see okay the same principle so this is unconnected wire also this is another presentation of unconnected wire so this or this when you find this shape or this means it is unconnected wire. Over here we are going to see some ground symbols and inductor symbols. So as you see for those three, this is the ground symbols. Okay, we have three types of grounds. This is for this. This is earth ground, okay, earth ground, okay, and this is the chassis ground, okay, so this is the chassis ground, so, so let's erase this, okay, so this is the chassis ground, and this is the digital ground, okay, so there is three kind or three types of ground, earth ground, chassis ground and digital ground so for this the digital ground we find it in the motherboard for example in the computer motherboard or the smartphone motherboard anyways we find it with the integrated circuit ic okay or with the uh, mosfets etc okay so this is the symbol this symbol is for open inductor. So this is the normal symbol for inductor. Okay? But this symbol exactly is for open inductor. Okay? And this with these two lines means iron core inductor. Okay? This is iron core inductor. Okay? So let's pass to the next slide. Over here we have some capacitors. So this is in blue color we have some fixed capacitor as you see. So this is fixed value capacitor. Okay. We can call this a PF capacitor. Okay, we can call it a PF capacitor. This is PF capacitor. And this is another capacitor. These two capacitors are not assigned plus or minus it's not a polarized capacitor okay but for those as you see we have here plus sign okay so this is a polarized capacitor why because here we have plus and here we have minus okay so here with this arrow as you see this is a normal capacitor exactly like this one but here we have another arrow over here this arrow means this capacitor is variable okay so as you see variable capacitor okay its value is variable so here we have also another sign exactly like this one so 
this is variable capacitor V okay variable capacitor okay in anyway for this one this is if we put here plus and minus it's not this is not a capacitor but this is a battery for example we can find here for example 12 volts okay so this is a battery here we are going to see some switches okay because there is a lot of types of switches there is some normal switches there is other complex switches so let's see the switch right now so for this this is a normal switch as you see we have here a normal switch we have a pole this called a pole and we have a true here this is a true over here okay so this is a normal switch okay and we have another switch with double true okay this is the first and this is the second so we have the first true and the second true and we have a pole this is a pole okay so this is a single pole double true switch okay this for this also the same principle as this okay the same principle as this we have one true just one true and we have one pole okay over here we have two as you see this is two poles okay this is the first and this is the second and we have just one true okay so this is double pole single true okay double pole single true so this is a double pole okay d p and single true okay so this is a double pole because we have two poles over here and we have just one true because even if we have here two true but just one true because we don't have here uh, the options okay and here as you see if we focus here this is the switch exactly like this one as you see here okay and this one okay so as you see we have s p s t single pole single true okay exactly like like this one single pole okay single true okay so this is the single pole single true toggle switch so this is a toggle switch and for this we have single pole as you see spdt single pole because we have just one pole and we have two true okay two state but here we have just one state okay so we have the state number one and the state number two so this is double true as you see here double true so single pole double true change over switch okay and over here this is other kind of switch this is a push button switch okay this is a push button switch so this is as you see it is open so this is a normal normally open as you see n o normally open okay this is a normally open switch if you push it it will be closed but normally it is open okay but for this this is a push button switch a normally closed switch as you see this is it is closed normally so this is n c okay so this is a normally closed when you push it it will be opened but normally it is closed and for this normally open okay so this is the load speaker okay so this is the symbol of it so this is the load speaker okay it has two terminal always we have here plus and minus okay this is the symbol of amplifier okay so two terminal the input and the output okay so this is the symbol of amplifier okay so this is the diac okay this is the diac we have here two diodes as you see this is the first diode and this is the second diode so this is diodes okay 
so the first diode and over here we have the second diode okay so this is the diac or diac okay here we have a chemical capacitor okay with plus and minus so this is chemical capacitor or polarized capacitor because we have here plus and minus okay but for the pf capacitor so this is the symbol of normal or pf capacitor without any sign over here okay so the sample is for the microphone the same principle as this okay the microphone has same principle as load speaker it has two inputs okay plus and minus so this is the symbol of microphone okay and over here we have the photo transistor okay the photo transistor the same principle as photo resistor okay so as you see we have here two arrows okay we have two arrows in this direction because this is a photo transistor so a photo transistor is a transistor that get or receive a light in its base so we have here base okay and we have a collector and over here we have emitter so the activated voltage for the photo transistor is not a voltage itself or a current no the light so the light the light if the transistor get the light in its base here so the current flow will happen over here okay so this is a photo transistor okay so the difference between photo transistor and a normal transistor is in the base so the normal transistor get a voltage in its base but the photo transistor get a light in its base so for the normal transistor the voltage is the operating signal but for the photo transistor the light is the operating signal okay this is a heater this is the symbol of heater device okay as you see with this line over here okay so this is the symbol of fuse always the letter is f so this is the symbol of fuse so always the value of fuse if if we use the multimeter to measure so or the ohmmeter to measure the resistance of the fuse always near to zero ohms okay to zero ohms always equal or near to zero ohms okay over here we have antenna so this is the symbol of antenna as you see here so antenna so this is the h symbol here we have buzzer so bill or buzzer so this is the symbol of bill or buzzer as you see here always with two terminals always we find plus and minus okay plus and minus and here we have the lamp so the symbol of lamp so with two terminals as you see two terminals lamp okay and this is the symbol of photoresistor we have this two around exactly like this okay always as you see here so photoresistor so this resistor detects a light so this is a photoresistor okay so this is the loudspeaker symbol amplifier diac so the capacitor a polarized capacitor or a chemical capacitor because we have plus and minus we have here the symbol of microphone photoresist transistor the heater the fuse okay the antenna and buzzer or bill the lamp okay and the photoresistor okay